military weapons. Welcome everyone to another great video. Today we talk about the FGM-148 Javelin. It's a US made man portable fire and forget anti-tank missile and it was fielded to replace the M47 Dragon. Now you see in the mid 1970s the US Army adopted the M47 Dragon anti-tank guided missile. It was a shoulder fired weapon with a wire guidance. This anti-tank missile had a reliable design and very good performance. But, however, by the late 1980s, the M47 became really outdated. Its effective range was limited to just 1,000 meters, and also its penetration power was insufficient to defeat the latest man-made battle tanks with heavy armor. So the US Army awarded a contract to develop a new kind of anti-tank guided missile to replace the M47. That's when the Javelin was jointly designed by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. In 1991, the first test flight of the Javelin succeeded, and in 1994, the first firing test was successful with a missile hitting the target at a range of 2,000 meters. Then, in 1995, mass production of the FGM-148 Javelin began, and in 1996, it would soon be delivered to the U.S. Army along with the U.S. Marine Corps. The Javelin has an exported to 20 countries, including Australia, France, and the United Kingdom. It's also widely used during the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. In Iraq, it destroyed several T-55 Type 69 and Assad Babel T-72 tanks and military trucks. In Afghanistan, it was successfully used against Taliban bunkers and fortifications. Currently, the FGM-148 Javelin is one of the most advanced man-portable anti-tank guide missile systems in the world, and it can destroy any current MBT. Just as well, it can also target low-flying helicopters. Only some existing anti-tank missiles, such as Israeli Spike, can even compare to the Javelin. The Javelin is a man-portable fire-and-forget type weapon. It's shoulder-fired, but can also be installed on a tripod or track and wield armored vehicles. Now currently, the M3 Bradley Cavalry Fighting Vehicle can use the Javelin instead of the tow missiles. There are two modes of attack, top attack and direct attack. The top attack flight mode is used to engage tanks and other armored vehicles. After the launch, the missile climbs upward and then dives toward the target. This method is very suitable to destroy MBTs because most of them have only a minimal level of armor protection in the upper part of the turret. In direct attack mode, the missile flies directly to the target. This mode is used to engage buildings, bunkers, weapon crews, and concentrations of enemy troops. In the direct attack mode, the Javelin can also engage low-flying helicopters. The missile is equipped with imaging infrared seekers. The missile also has an 8.4 kilogram tandem-shaped charge warhead. A precursor warhead detonates any explosive reactive armor, and the primary warhead penetrates the base armor. Now, the Javelin is also capable of destroying any existing MBT in the world. The Javelin missile also has a soft launch capability. In the first stage of the launch, the missile is thrown forward about 20 meters via a small compressed gas cylinder, which is located at the back of the missile. Then, when the missile is thrown away from the operator, the main engine turns on. This feature makes it very suitable for use in urban environments and closed areas, like buildings, without any risk for the gunner. It has a maximum firing range of 2,500 meters, and recently the manufacturer developed a version of the Javelin with a range of 4,750 meters. As far as its specifications go, it has a weight of 22.3 kilograms, which is its carry weight. It has a detachable command launch unit of 6.4 kilograms, and the missile length is 1.1 meters, with a length launch tube of 1.2 meters. The diameter of the missile is 127 millimeters, and the launch tube is 142 millimeters. It takes a crew of two with an effective firing range, originally set at 2,500 meters, but now currently 4,750 meters. Of its warhead, it has a tandem-shaped charge of heat, penetration at 600 to 800 millimeters RHA. 
The warhead weight is 8.4 kilograms and its detonation mechanism is made from impact force. The engine is a solid-fueled rocket with a guidance system of infrared homing, produced from 1996 until now. The number of them that have been built are in 40,000 range. The unit costs $246,000 to produce. It's been used in the Iraq War, the war in Afghanistan, Operation Enduring Freedom between 2001 and 2014, as well as Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation New Dawn from March of 2003 to December of 2011, and also in the Syrian Civil War. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.